It's Mindy, right? Yes, that's correct. Is this Hilda? I'm looking forward to working with you. I understand you'll be starting with us tomorrow. Why did you choose our department? There are plenty of other departments an intern like you can choose from. Other departments with easier tasks, to be frank. I believe your department has the most I could learn from for my personal growth. I'm looking forward to applying my skills in the real world. I'd especially like more hands-on international business experience. Oh yeah, you studied abroad somewhere, right? That's irrelevant anyway. What do you mean? You're just an intern. It doesn't matter how hard you work. You're just a replaceable drone. I'm not exactly an intern. What do you mean? I was told you're an intern. I'm just starting on intern hours for now. I'll be working as full time soon enough. Then choosing our department was a huge mistake. <laughs> I don't understand. What do you mean? In our department, interns are just here to assist us. <laughs> they only stay for a couple of months. We're not letting them touch any important deals. Why don't you join a different department where the work is a little less cutthroat? Hmm? I won't be quitting anytime soon. I know it's not going to be easy, but that's how you learn, right? You can tell yourself whatever you want, but you're not needed here. What you need to understand is your position in our department. My position? How are you not getting this? Are you dumb? Stupid? Interns are subhuman. That's your position. Excuse me, but isn't that a little much? Interns work hard for the company, just like full-timers. It depends on the person, I guess. Please don't judge my dedication before you even see me at work. And subhuman. That's kind of a lot to unpack. Don't get uppity already now. You haven't even started work and you're already disrespecting your direct superior. I really didn't mean to. You don't even know what the work entails. Do you have any idea? I did complete my general training. I'll be learning the details as I go while at the office from now on. I'd really like to convey that I highly regard your department's work and standards. And I hope to contribute for the growth of the department and company. So please don't write me off as an unnecessary addition. That arrogant attitude has just rubbed me the wrong way ever since training. Arrogant? Yeah, snooty, like you're better than people. Just not getting your position in the hierarchy. Were you not taught to respect your superiors in school? Of course all interns start out like this. I'm sorry, I was homeschooled. My family didn't believe in hierarchy and taught us to respect each human for their merits. So you're a freak and a useless piece of trash. <laughs> you're an unnecessary addition for sure. I can't wait for you to crash and burn. Well, I'll see you at the office tomorrow. I understand you have very high standards. I promise I'll do my best to meet them. Shut up. I don't need that crap. Useless intern. Okay. Have a good night. Hey, Munchkin. You ready for your first day tomorrow? You said you want to learn the ropes as an intern for the first three months. Do you still feel that way? Of course, Daddy. Why? You just got back from studying abroad. You need some rest. You don't need to prove yourself. I can give you a position anytime. You don't have to give me preferential treatment. I want to climb up the corporate ladder on my own merits. I'll work twice as hard to show everyone I deserve it. I love the ambition, Tiger. I think it's wonderful. But you're my only daughter. You can't stop me from worrying about you. I know. I love you too. But believe me, I'm fine. The International Marketing Department has some... challenging people. Don't get sucked in by them, okay? If anything happens, let me know. Teddy! I said I'm fine! <laughs> but I promise I'll tell you if anything happens. Thanks! Do you get it now? You're nothing. I demand absolute obedience. Hilda, you're crazy. You're a complete psychopath. You're going to keep talking to me like that after what I did to you? 
I'm telling you, stupid interns never learn. I get that you mistakenly think I'm an intern, but beating me up in the parking lot on my first day at work? You need help! You think so? Oh, I think it's within reason for education purposes, as discipline. Completely reasonable. It's not reasonable! Full-time employees can attack interns? You can't use physical discipline anymore! There are people with power and people without. The people with power can do anything, and those without can't do anything about it. That's the way life is. It seems you enjoy being condescending and bullying those weaker than you. You're such a snake! Hey, you better watch your mouth. You want another lesson on respecting your superiors? Do you understand your position yet? Not sure about position, but I do understand you're absolutely revolting. Oh my, you haven't learned your lesson at all. You're useless trash, okay? No one wants you here. In this company, interns are the lowest of the low. I hope that lesson in the parking lot taught you a little about respect. Are you the one who beat up my daughter? What? Who is this? Don't even try. I've confirmed your name. This is Hilda from the International Marketing Department. Yes? Why? Are you trying to freak me out? Nice try, Mindy. <laughs> this is Mindy's father. Huh? <laughs> no way, she tattled on me. She's a grown woman. Aw, she went crying to her daddy. Well, I am connected to your work after all. Connected? How? I'm the president. Mindy is my daughter. What? President? You're kidding, right? <laughs> How is this funny? Were you kidding when you beat my daughter in the parking lot? No, wait, sir. You're the president of the whole company? Yes, Hilda. The whole thing. So tell me how full-time employees have the right to beat interns. You think that's a reasonable way to discipline interns? Interns are useless trash. You must be delusional. You're the kind of employee that brings down the reputation of the whole company. Please hold on a second. I had no idea. So, Mindy is really your daughter. Oh, but your family names are different. Are you sure this isn't some kind of prank? Her mother and I are divorced. Mindy uses her mother's last name, that's all. You need to understand the position you're in. You may still be in shock from finding out who my daughter is, but I have no intention of letting you off lightly. Wait. Sir, I apologize for my behavior. It was just a misunderstanding between colleagues. The said beating was just a few punches. The doctor told me she was punched over ten times in the face. Anyway, I will be going back to the office to determine my next course of action. It does not look good for you. Sir, please. I'm really sorry. I understand what I did was wrong and it won't happen again. Please believe me. Shut up. I'm going to destroy your life. Hi, Mindy. How are you feeling? There's a lot happening. I heard you're being discharged from the hospital tomorrow, so I thought you might be feeling better. I'm not feeling better. How could I be? My face is still covered in bruises and swollen because of what you did. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I don't know what came over me. But you understand I am sorry, and I won't do it again. I don't care if you're sorry. You did what you did. You can't change it. I told you I was sorry. What else do you want from me? You can't forgive me. You think this is going away by apologizing? That's pretty immature, don't you think? Take responsibility for what you do. Actions have consequences. You don't need to patronize me like that. Your father is making my life hell because of you. Because of me? Because of you! You're the one that assaulted me. That's a crime, you know. But we're colleagues here. Workmates, you know. It's pretty harsh that he filed a complaint with the police and fired me. Don't you think that's a little much? He's definitely flexing because you're his darling daughter. 
It's total overkill. You could talk some sense into him, right? Why would I do that? What? We're colleagues, I told you. I did help you during training. So why don't you help me out a little? What do you want me to do? Let's say my punching you was a misunderstanding. You could say someone else did it. Or convince your bully of a father that firing me is too much. I'm sure he'd listen to his darling daughter. Why would I go along with your silly story? Me, the victim. I really don't think you understand what you did. You assaulted me, and that's a criminal offense. Yeah, but we're workmates, you know. Covering for each other is what we do. Don't pretend we're friends in any way. You bullied me during training, too. I barely got any help from you and had to look elsewhere for help. I didn't even hold that against you. I told myself we could build some trust in the long run. Then why did you tell me you're an intern? I would never have done anything like this if you weren't a useless intern. Hilda! You can't judge people for their job titles or positions. Haven't you learned anything at all from this? Yeah, but... No buts. I'm not interested in your lame excuses. My father is not going to let this go. He's a very vengeful person. I intend on following his wishes. But don't worry about your job. I'll be taking it within three months' time. Excuse me? It took me ten years to get to that position. How is a child right out of university going to do what I do? Say whatever you want. <laughs> you just bark orders at your colleagues and beat them into submission like animals. I think I'd be a way better boss than that. Well, bye, Hilda. I don't think I'll be seeing you around anymore. Remember me from that time you self-destructed your whole life. Upset over the firing and police report, Hilda went to seek revenge. She was at Mindy's hospital with a weapon when security guards stopped her. She was immediately arrested and taken in for questioning. Combined with the prior assault case, there is no way Hilda could avoid serving time behind bars. In other words, she got what she deserved. Mindy was discharged from the hospital and made a full recovery. She went back to work, where everyone had found out that her father is the company president. No one treats Mindy unkindly anymore. Her dedication and hard work have paid off and earned her recognition within the company. She quickly moved past Hilda's position and continued up the corporate ladder. She is now learning the ropes for when she takes over as the next president. On the other hand, Hilda was still struggling to find a job over six months after being fired. Her savings are almost gone, and she's currently considering selling her car or living in it. Well, it really looks like she shouldn't have been such a bully.